हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू बी एफ फिशरीज ऑनलाइन क्लास टुडे वी विल बी गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सम लाइक क्वालिटी प्रॉब्लम्स इन फूड सी फूड इंडस्ट्री वी नो दैट द सी फूड कैन बी ऑफ डोमेस्टिक नेचर ऑफ इट कैन बी द एक्सपोर्ट प्रोडक्ट्स लाइक देयर आर टू टाइप ऑफ सी फूड्स वी कम अक्रॉस एंड ड्यू टू सम बैड लाइक वट वी आर प्रोसेसिंग एंड वी आर डूइंग लाइक वी आर सेलिंग it to the market so we face lot of difficulties during the uh, this activities so the quality can be poor by these activities so we have to take care of it that is attention is to be needed in the primary processing and after the processing also so these are can be uh, like we have we are if we are having seafood then we have to take care it that they can be properly washed that is and the be heading uh like be heading can be also done and also peeling and, de- and dividing should be dr- done broken pieces should be uh, separately kept so uh due to the avoid of this uh, problem that is some uh, do avoid this these uh, problem dip- uh, and due to this some effect are seen uh, in the fisheries like in the seafood industry that is the poor uh, raw material so we if we are collecting the seafood the black spots are the major problem what we face is in the shell and it is on the shrimp this is because of the enzymatic reaction that affect just the coloration so the uh, enzymatic reaction are affecting the coloration and due to which the shrimp shrimp face black spot in the shell and the prevention for it can be the cutting of oxygen and removal of head so if we cut the oxygen and remove the head uh, we can avoid this problem that is black spot formation in the cell on the shrimp that is because of the enzymatic reaction and so we can uh, we can also have a treatment like a potassium meta by sulfate and in the uh, amount that is given should be 0.2 to 0.5% or can be uh, for 1 to 2 minutes so this is the prevention method for poor uh, like black spot in the shrimp if we face the other one is the thawing problem uh, thawing can be uh, because of the weight loss a uh, thawing can uh, lead to the weight loss also and what happens is uh, what we face if we are cutting the head that is headless or can be peeled or can be cooked ship so if it is headless then uh, the thawing uh, weight loss can be 5% if it is peeled then thawing uh, drip problem can be 10 to 15% and if it is cooked then it it is 7 to 10% loss so maximum head loss can be in the peeled so uh, weight water loss uh, is uh, consisting of soluble nutrients and flavor bearing co- or component and in bigger size there will be the smaller loss and in m uh, dobsoni that is metapenis dobsoni and uh, p stylifera these are all the shrimp and these have the recorded the highest thawing weight loss and the treatment can be the polyphosphate uh, treatment we can have for it and due to that we can reduce the weight loss in shrimp and dehydration is also a problem can be seen uh, during the seafood processing that is white patches can be seen it is because of the mi- maximum dehydration allowed in shrimp for export 20% by count air packet exclusions sufficient glazing and maintenance of constant temperature can reduce these problem so uh, this is also a major problem that is white patches uh, can be seen and the other is the bacterial contamination so bacteria can also uh, start like if uh, the particular uh, fish or cell fish is dead or the seafood we are talking if uh, if it is dead then the uh, bacteria which is uh, inside it can uh, cause spoilage in them, that, them. so it is uh, needed to make it bacterial free so what we can do is the chlorination we can uh, give it to them chlorination of water supply can uh, regular clean the uh, schedules like uh, we can have a better treatment for bacterial contamination by chlorination the other thing is bacterial problem in canned food fruit products 
it is related to sterilization or post process the problem during canning uh, when we are canning any product uh, like seafood are packed and canned and then it is sold so if during canning also uh, like retort pouch uh, uh, we will study uh, uh, like we have this lecture on canning on our channel we can you can see and it is a uh, seeming can also can be a problem uh, and it may lead to the bacterial contamination in the seeming industry water content in canned food leads to uh, like water contained in canned fish can also lead to the bacterial contamination and it should be not more than 10%. So uh, if we are packing any product or canning any food product then uh, the water content should be mo not more than should be less than 10%. So it is a uh, like uh, measure that we have to uh, measure 10% uh, water in uh, uh, the canned food only. So in struvite, uh, struvite struvite problem of formation can also be seen in the seafood industry it is because of the magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate these are the component which leads to the struvite formation so uh, we have to learn here that uh, what can uh, undergo struvite formation so the answer will be the ma uh, magnesium ammonium phosphate hexahydrate can lead to struvite uh, formation and due to this the seafood can leads to there will be no taste adored and mistaken to be the glass fragment fragment so this can be a problem in during struvite formation the other is honeycombing honeycombing uh, it is seen in the canned tuna mainly and it is in between the fish tissue Pits are seen after pre-cooking. It is a sign of sign of advanced decomposition, like a honeycombing structure type. Like if we, if you are familiar with the honeycomb, then you can watch that structure in the canned tuna. So it is mainly seen in that. The other one is blue or black or brown discoloration in lobster's tail, like a shrimp. In lobster also we used to come across the blue or black discoloration so it is mainly seen in the lobster tail so what we can do is so uh, whenever we are uh, caught uh, the lobster then we have to take care that uh, the lobster should be kept alive after uh, catching and uh, then when we are selling it to the market also it should be kept alive or it we can have a treatment like we can uh, remove the lobster tail or a proper glazing wrapping and low temperature can also be a tre treatment for that that is a uh, lobster can be uh, avoid with this uh, measure then other thing is squid and cuttle fish discoloration and this is mainly yellow discoloration of tubes and fillet so uh, filth formation are seen over it and this is also a big problem during seafood industry and the other one is pink and done in cured product so curing uh, during curing uh, pink or done products are seen it is due to the salt used during the curing method if we are uh, using a uh, salt in curing method and it is contaminated it will contaminate the whole product so we have to take care for it that we should take only those products which are free from the uh, bacteria or fungi whatever it is and we should uh, take care of, of that do spoilage is due to the growth of halophilic mould chocolate brown spot formation can be there so it is the halophilic uh, mould formation it is free from colored halophilic bacteria so these are uh, the dune formation and it mainly comes in the JRF exam what is uh, what can be uh, dune formation and what uh, can it lead to so dune spoilage is also a major and it is due to the halophilic mould so it is also seen in the uh, like um, if we are packing the seafood then we can see shrimp uh, shrimp can lead to the decomposition and the maximum decomposition is permitted in frozen shrimp is 5% by count maximum permit, uh, permitted limit of indole in shrimp is 25 gram 
microgram per hundred gram so uh, shrimp decomposition um, if we are decomposing the shrimp then maximum decomposition permitted in frozen shrimp is five percent and it, uh, we have to learn the uh, quantity that how much decomposition can be done in the shrimp so maximum decomposition frozen shrimp can be five percent and the permitted limit of indole indole is a limit it is a unit actually by which we can uh, define that how much a product is uh, decomposed it is used to judge by way and that is uh, we can use various uh, chemical quality indices uh, to judge the particular material that how much is uh, it is decomposed so it is indole and also can be tvn or hypoxanthine are the measure that can be used to judge and some of the important important countries have fixed tolerance level for indole so uh, during uh, we can see that the serious problem in seafood is the decomposition if it is not uh, ca taken care properly then it will lead to, to many problems and in, due to during the processing storage and transportation so we should have to care for this and this was all for today uh, we have learned today uh, all the de uh, decomposition and also we learned uh, that how the seafood are getting a harm during the processing uh, transporting and all and what can be the cure or the treatment for that uh, so we have learned all about it thanks for watching and if you like this channel then please do like and subscribe